Hey everybody, this is Devin with HDPiano.com, and in today's video we're going to take a look at Every 27 Years by Benjamin Wallfish, a very spooky song from the movie It. We're going to learn uh, about the first seven measures in this video, but the rest of the videos with the rest of the song can all be found over at HDPiano.com. Here's what we're doing today. way low on the piano, out of range of what you can see right now, and pick up with a nice big D minor, as low as you can go. Well, I'm certainly dressed up in my best clown outfit, scary clown outfit, that is, as I hope you are, um, but I'm going to ask you guys to just kind of spoil the movie for me. I know, you know, every 27 years, Pennywise has to rise up and kill the children, or something like that, in this small town. I did Google uh, but I can confirm that I won't be seeing this movie in theaters, so I welcome any summaries in the comments below. And I also welcome some spooky stories. So if you want to share your spookiest, creepiest, scariest, you know, bedtime thriller, go ahead and put it in the comments, you know, a couple sentences or less if you can. Spare me. But anyways, let's dive in. It's a beautiful song, I'm not going to lie. It's very, uh, you know, some some lovely voice leading and these chords are just constantly morphing um, there's no real key center but we do start you know more or less in c major and i'm just going to show you guys the left hand to begin with because it's a very consistent pattern so once you've got that under your fingers uh, it shouldn't be too hard to add the melody so we start off with a c chord this is c second inversion c major second inversion so we have g on the bottom c and e and consistently in these seven measures and pretty much throughout the entire song, we're going to hit the root or the bottom note of each chord and then follow it up with the remaining notes. So we have G and then C and E, and we play that twice. And the rhythm is one, two, three, four. So I'm just looping that. This is our C over G chord. All right, our next chord, we change one note. We go from C to B. So this gives us E minor over G, which is an E minor in first inversion chord. All right, so, so far just one note changed there. Now our G is going to remain consistent, and for our next measure, we're going to change to C minor. So this is C minor second inversion, C minor over G. And that's C and E flat as our top two notes. All right, now we take the G up to A flat. We play A flat minor here. All right, that's A flat and C flat and E flat. That's root position A flat minor. So let's recap those four measures. Pretty spooky. One more time, two, three, four. G, this is our C over G, E minor over G, C minor over G, now A flat minor. Now, the A flat on bottom stays, and we play C and F above that, and that gives us F minor over A flat. That's F minor in first inversion. All right, now we're gonna cinch our outer notes in. Right, so our A flat comes up to A and our F comes down to E. And this gives us A minor. All right, so those last two measures were F minor over A flat to A minor root position, A, C, E. And now our E stays and we uh, take our A to G sharp and our C to C sharp. And this gives us C sharp minor second inversion. So this is C sharp minor over G sharp. All right, let's recap those entire seven measures. So we start on C over G. One, two, nice and slow. E minor over G. To C minor over G. To A flat minor. To F minor over A flat. To A minor. 
and C sharp minor over G sharp. And now, I know you can't see it on the screen, but I'm going to send you guys hunting for that next note. That's where we're going to pick up in part two over at hdpiano.com. All right, so let's learn this melody. It starts off so pleasant, and it just suddenly gets dark. It's uh, He really wastes no time taking us there. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep the left hand holding our chords to give us the context, but I'm not going to necessarily play the part. All right. So our right hand plays one, two, and three, four. That's E, F sharp, G, C. All right. Next measure was just B, two, G, four, meaning one, two, three, four. So we have. All right, so our next measure is one, two, and three, and. That's A, B, C, D. Just playing the alphabet. To E flat and A flat. All right, so those two measures, three, four. E flat and A flat over our A flat minor. All right, so one more time with those four measures. up an octave now so we have a flat up here and our left hands on f minor over a flat so a flat c and f and our right hand plays one two and three four a flat g f c and then e d c that's one two and three over the a minor chord so that gives us All right, and our next chord is... All right, that's our C-sharp minor in our left hand, G-sharp, C-sharp, E, and one, two, and three, four. C-sharp, D-sharp, E, G-sharp. And then, like I keep hinting at, ooh, and the fact that you can't see it is almost kind of scary too. A nice low, for a, uh, low D for a D minor, and our right hand picks up with... But I'll be teaching all that in part two. So let me go ahead and play you guys out with the entirety of what we just learned. Two, three, four. All right, I'll leave it there for you guys. I hope to see you guys over at hdpiano.com. But while you're here, please like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My name is Devin. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.